guys, Katie here from Mitza Creek Farm, and um, I was tagged in a video on three things um, you learn or to share three things you learned this season by Kim at Joyful Half Acre. And um, I love watching these, but it, they really make me think, and I want to put a lot of thought and effort into it. So I'm still thinking about it. But this is this is kind of where I'm leaning right now. I feel like because we're so new, and I, I know that there's a lot of people out there who are newer than us and who feel like um, we're seasoned pros at this. Really, we're not. Um, we have owned our property for a little over three years now. And I'm in school, the charter school pickup line. So um, this might be a little fragmented. Um, but... I really have been pondering it because I want to put a lot of thought into it, but I also um, struggle because I feel like everything we're doing is new and learning, and I feel like I, I, I love to learn and I love to research, and so um, this, is, this is a hard one because I feel like everything I do is new and learning. Um, but the th number three, I'm going to kind of do them in order of importance. Um, the third biggest thing I learned, other than flies are annoying and there's a fly in my car, um, is that it's okay to not know everything. And that's a doozy for me because I research and research and research and before I do things I want to like know everything. And it's okay, it's okay to not know everything. And um, YouTube has been a huge help in that because seeing other people who don't know everything and they're figuring it out as they go and um, reaching out to other YouTube homesteaders and farmers and on Instagram, there are some awesome Instagram accounts where I'm learning so much and it has been so helpful. So my number three is it's okay to not know everything. My second most important thing is it's okay to try things and to try to figure them out and not necessarily do them the same way as other people. Um, and it's okay to do it the same way as other people. But the point is, is that you're trying and you're trying to do it in a way that works for you. So, you know, we planted in the greenhouse and we planted in the field. And the results are very, very interesting. And we'll do a video on that, um, showing you guys. But um, I knew that trying it in the field was, even that was a little bit of a risk because it was a new field um, and it was expanding what we did last year. But um, I kind of did the tried and true, you know, growing pumpkin way. But then putting them in the greenhouse um, is a new thing and I have not seen anybody try it. Um, so that's a big thing. Go ahead and try it, but don't put all your eggs in one basket because it may not work. It may work and it may be amazing. It may work one year and the second year not be amazing. Um, so go ahead and try it. Like, what's it going to hurt? Especially when you're growing crops because you get lots of seeds when you buy a seed packet. So, you know, if you're trying crops and you, or any growing, um, go for it. Just try it. If there's things that interest you, if hydroponics or aquaponics interest you, um, start small and just experiment with it and go. It's okay to try new things. You might be the only one that you know of that does it, but I can guarantee you other people are questioning if it's possible and they might be watching you and you might be a good resource for them. Um, and then the single most important thing that I learned, and again, all three of these could be tied for most important, depending on where you're at. Um, in my life, all three were very, very important. But um, it's okay to move slower in order to not burn yourself out. And um, that's a huge lesson for me in what I have to do, what I want to do, and where I'm at in life. Um, I, this summer, I really did get burnt out. We built the high tunnel this summer. We expanded our pumpkin crop by a thousand percent. 
and then um, three kids homeschooled um, they were lucky enough that they go to an amazing charter school um, so that takes a little bit of load off but I can tell you that um, wanting to do all the things and it it's very overwhelming and it burns you out and each kid wants to do something different and you want to feed into that and it is so hard so it's okay to say no and um, you need to do what's best for your family if you are have tons of money and um, you are able to get the resources so that you're not having to work as much so that you know if you want to let's say add a flock of sheep to your farm and you have the resources so that um, you're not putting in all the fencing by yourself. You're not um, having to work 12-hour days, like that kind of stuff. Then then go for it. But um, know your limit. And um, if you want to go venture down a couple of paths, um, do it small so that you can experiment and see. Um, but then don't overdo it like it is so hard in this at least for me it is so hard to follow all of these paths that you want to without getting burnt out so those are the three things that I learned the most in this last season it was a tough one but it was also really good and I really learned a lot about myself back at home <laughs> finishing the video still in the car um, because it's the most quiet those are the three most important things that I learned this year or this season. Um, I really am going kind of more off of um, the summer season because our fall season seemed like it, I don't know, we had a goofy fall. So I haven't quite processed that yet. Um, but that's what I learned this season as far as that goes. My kids wanted me to like take this literal and be like, what are like three like physical things you learned? So I figured I'd add that in here too. Um, Lily told me to add that I learned how to build a high tunnel, which is true. Not at this point in my life, not something I want to um, build again because ah, that was that was a doozy. Um, I really learned how to um, grow pumpkins, tell pumpkin how to tell if pumpkins are ripe, especially. Um, that's a that's a good one that. Um, you know, you kind of think you know, and you'll just kind of muddle your way through it, especially that first year. But this year, I felt feel like I really learned um, how how to grow and pick a pumpkin. Um, and I know that that's probably two in there. And then um, the third thing I learned is um, how to do solar and understand how to how solar works, and that's. That's kind of huge. I could almost make two of these videos with these things I've learned. Um, and there will be more videos coming out on that. Um, I just, things are moving so fast here that I can't really keep up with filming and doing and editing and homeschooling and work and all of that. So um, I do have some of these videos like in the works. Um, and so they will be coming out. Um, so the solar one will be coming out in the future, but um, electricity scares me, scares me to death, and I understand now how solar electricity works and um, how it's working for us and what we're doing. So that's really, really cool, um, and that's coming up in a future video, but that was, that was an exciting one that I learned, and it's not nearly as scary now. It's a lot less scary when it's solar than when uh, it's hooked up to the power line, right? So um, those are the three things I learned. And I'm taking um, two other um, homestead or farms in this. Um, the first one is, I'm trying to say this right, but I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. The Caskina crew. Um, and they are a cool modern homestead in Italy. And um, definitely go and subscribe to them. I am having so much fun watching their videos. Um, and I'm um, learning from them as we go because it is like totally different side of the world. Things are done differently, but yet they're still the same. So it's fun watching them. And then um, the other um, the other homestead I'm taking in this is um, a 
fairly new viewer to me and I'm a fairly new viewer to them but I'm really loving their videos and that is Deer Creek Homesteading. And so I'm taking both of them in this because um, I am really interested to see what their answers are. Um, I didn't necessarily do this because, take them because, um, because I know what their answers are. I'm taking them in it because I want to see what their answers are. So, um, they hopefully will, will follow up and do this as well with the three things that they learned this season. And like I said in my video, I'm still thinking about it. Like I, she taped me yesterday, probably midday, or at least that's when I saw it. Um, shortly before I went to go pick up Lily from school and I have been thinking about it this whole time. I've discussed it with my family, um, discussed it with Owen, and like I came up with six things. And so take it literal, take it um, philosophical if you want. Um, I feel like really on a homestead or farm you're always going to be learning and there's probably great life lessons that you learn and that you probably are always going to be learning even if it's the same thing over and over. But then there's also like literal things that you can learn. So this was just really interesting and it was a great thing to do. And now the noise is coming, I better wrap this up. Thanks for tuning in guys. We'll see you next time. If you're not a subscriber, we'd love it if you would subscribe.